points in the end and the effort really seemed to be there for four quarters but what did you think was the difference in the end? Um, it's hard to tell I really really don't know. Um, I don't know I think they made most of their opportunities a bit more going forward um, it's hard to say yeah I think again um, I'm not sure what the clearance numbers were like but I reckon they were on top of us early clearance numbers so that probably put us behind the eight ball a bit early on kept them to 13 goals, which I think would be one of their lower returns for the season. You must have been happy with how the team held up defensively and especially the back six as well. Yeah, the back six has been very, very good for us. Um, we definitely put the heat on more of the midfield and forwards, putting a lot more pressure on in the forward line and locking it in there so we could score. Um, and again, periods of the game, I thought we did that well, like great. And then there's a few ones we, we let loose over the back. So um, yeah, defensively, it's been a big, big focus on the last week. Tails on Buddy kept him goalless, I think, again tonight. Yeah, he's he's a glove. He's um he's an absolute star. He, and he doesn't work alone. You have got guys like Radar, Otto, um, big trucker that all help him out. And um, that's what I love about that back six. They all help each other out. So um, makes Tails a, a lot well, Tails' job a lot easier. Sam Carriage probably ended up getting the better of Grant Birch as well. Kicked a couple of goals and held him to a pretty low possession count. It's a different role for him coming into the team, but he's adapted pretty well. Yeah, he has, and he's um. He's just eager to play in the team any way he can. He, uh, he said that to Campo. He, he just wants to play in the team. He's uh, he set himself for those roles, and um, I love love the way he's doing. Love the way he's going about it. He's um, he'd be tough to play on. He's super fit, and yeah, he got him got him the other way as well, which was which was good for us, and I think good for Sam's development. A lot of talk during the week about the forward line and who was going to kick the goals. It ended up generating 23 scoring shots, I think. So you can still kick the goals without techs up there. It's more what you're talking about before, just actually capitalising on them. Yeah, that's right. We've got to. I think we'll just keep being smarter with the way we move the ball forward. But um, we're definitely happy with um, Big Joshy um, Schmacko putting their hand up and I know cracking into a few packs, which is what we're going to need. But um, we definitely have to um, be a bit smarter with the way we use our footy. Does that mean lowering the eyes a little bit and not just bombing it in? Yeah, I think you just got to sum up each situation differently. Just You can't be blazing away the whole time. We've got no text, no tipo down there, so it's a different look forward line, but it will work for us definitely. A bit disappointing to not get the win for Truck and his 200, but as you mentioned, he was phenomenal again tonight. Yeah, he was. He's been in great form, Truck, and um, we really wanted it very badly, and it's very disappointing that we couldn't quite get there. Um, yeah, it's, it's very frustrating. GWS next week, you really have to build on that effort and consistency now. A few more guys play themselves back into a bit of form tonight. It's a bit of a building block to go forward. Yeah, definitely. We've got to make sure we keep the same standards now. That's, um, that's a bit more like how we want to play. Still not quite there, but um, we, as we've been saying, we can't let it be up and down each week. We've got to, we've got to have that consistency, and that was, that's what um, really made us a good team last year. Thanks, Simon. Appreciate it.